Alright guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today. For this video I'm doing another little out and about video and this is probably the only out and about video that I'm going to film for you while I'm here in Macau. So like I explained in my review of Macau Beer Company's Gold Nail, there's not too much in the way of, of craft beer around in Macau at the moment. They're still sort of just getting used to it. But according to Rate Beer, this is the best place to actually come and drink on cask beer here in Macau just now. So this is the Agora Tap House, just a little bit along from the uh, from the MGM building. So we'll go in and we'll take a little look and see how we get on. Cheers. All right, so let's go and just have a little look around then inside, see what the Agora tap room's like. So you come in, you've actually got this nice little sort of barrel display and stuff like that, triple carmeliot, which is always a good welcoming sign. So you come in here, you're gonna walk past a load of barrels and stuff like this, which is kind of cool. There's one of the old brew dog kegs there, craft beer for the people, <laughs> stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting to see an old little bit of uh, Aberdeen there. They've also got a little karaoke thing going on here. There's a dude in there singing his lungs out. But yeah, you come up the stairs, which is kind of cool. A little bit dark, of course, because it is night time. So up the stairs, come round here. Some nice artwork up on the walls here. I did notice this. I'm an aircraft enthusiast, so I was trying to figure out what plane it was, but um, it looks like a combination of things to me. But anyway, that's another day. So we come into the bar like this. Loads of wine bottles and stuff on the wall, which is kind of cool. They're showing football just now, one of the old Premiership games, Burnley beating uh, Tottenham 2-1 at the moment, 91st minute. But yeah, then you come over at the bar, they've got a lot of nice glassware and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, a few different things on tap here. Stone IPA, Brewdog, Delirium Tremens Kung Fu Lager, which is from over in Hong Kong, Shikoku Koedo Black Lager from Japan, uh, Rogue Dead Guy, Ballast Point Sculpin, Brewdog Elvis Juice, Deschutes Black Butter Porter, uh, Little Creatures from Australia, that's an old favourite of mine, and the Dancing Lion Lager, from, uh, uh, which is also from Hong Kong, if I remember right. I think that's a Moonzen one, so yeah. Really nice bar, they do have 20 taps, but there's only around 12 or so of them actually working just now, but yeah, barman's doing a little bit of juggling with his cocktails and stuff. But yeah, no, some of the guys over here were playing beer pong earlier. But um, yeah, nice bar this one. But this is the top rated place on uh, Rate Beer for the moment. So I got myself a scooping from Ballast Point. So let's do a little bit of a tasting of this one then. All right, guys, so first beer tasting then. So I went for uh, a Sculpin IPA from Ballast Point. This one's a little bit of a West Coast classic. I've never actually tried this one on tap, as far as I can remember. Um, but I know that this is a really quite nice, this is a, nice, a quite nice West Coast IPA, and I've been missing my West Coast IPAs. It seems to all be about the New England IPAs these days. As you can see as well, Agora actually have their own glasses and things like that, these IPA glasses. So I thought this was pretty cool. But as you you can see a nice sort of rich orangey amber colour this one. Kind of what you would expect from a West Coast IPA. Pretty clear, a little bit of haze to it. The head on this one incidentally was uh, a sort of cream colour rather than being a perfect white. Aroma wise, you know this beer quite malt, like quite a good malty presence to it. Some sweet caramel, a little bit toasted, you know. Um, it's got a little bit of a biscuity note too as well. You can smell a little touch of the bread qualities in there too. But nice little bit of booze in there. And um, the hops are coming across is quite juicy and fruity. And um, a little bit of orange in there, a little bit of grapefruit. You know, this is a proper kind of old school West Coast IPA. Yeah, we bet my bonnet that there's some cascade in here. Maybe a little bit of chinook, something like that. Definitely a little bit of that nice kind of strong piney resin in there. Um, a bit of grapefruit, but to me this one really leans towards the orangey side of things. Probably a bit of Amarillo, I can't actually remember what hops are in this one. But you know, it smells lovely, it's got a really good uh, juicy fruity nose to it, some nice sweet maltiness as well. I do apologise for the, the noise, they're playing the music and you know, and uh, when people get drunk in Asia they get a bit loud, that's just kind of how it goes. They're having a good time, who's to hold that against them? But yeah, lovely smell on IPA this, so let's get stuck in. The Ballast Point School for IPA. Let's go.
So yeah, really nice one this. Definitely a classic. Across the middle of the tongue, a little bit of pale malt. Middle of your palate, you get a nice little bit of a sweet caramel. It comes out a bit later. There's some biscuity notes in there as well. Middle of your palate dries out a little bit. Back corners of your tongue, there's a little bit of earthiness there. As you come further forward along the sides of the tongue, it's a little bit more kind of piney and resinous. Round the very front curve of your palate, a little bit kind of lighter and grassy. But for me, it's the sort of piney resins and, uh, and floral aromaticity that's lingering in this one, which is quite nice. Behind the front curve of the palate, of course, that's where you get that nice oily bubble where those juicy fruity esters come out of the beer. For me, if you go to the back of that bubble, you get a little bit of grapefruit. And as you come further forward, that is evolves to be a little bit more oily and orangey. But yeah, you know, absolute classic IPA, this one. I really quite like this. And to be honest, I just chose this one because it was what I, I sort of knew and liked. And that's the thing with this bar. Um, apart from a couple of the Hong Kong beers, there's... You know, it's quite well known beer for beers that are over here. There's Brewdog, there's Stone, there's Ballast Point, there's Rogue, a bit of Deschutes as well, who we don't get too much of them in Europe, but you know, a fairly big West Coast brewery. Um, but this is nice, I mean, it's good to see that people in Macau are starting to get a little bit more aware about craft beer and things. But as for the body of this one, mid-bodied, carbonation smooth, leans towards the oily side of things, good bit of IBU in there, I think about 65, 70 IBUs in this one, it does have a good bit of bite to it, um, nice bit of balance between smoothness and sweetness in the malt base, and some juicy fruity qualities as well, overall, really nice IPA this one, and uh, cool to try this one on tap for the first time as well, so let's leave it, leave it for that, and I'll do another beer I think after this one, cheers. Alright guys, second and probably final beer tasting of the evening. So for this one I thought I'd go for another American beer, but this is one that I'd never ever tried before. Um, I've not reviewed too many beers from Stone Brewing on the channel for you actually, so that's something I do need to address. So this one is the Delicious IPA, which comes in at 7.7% ABV. Um, as you can see, again, nice sort of rich amber colour in this one. Um, not quite as dark and uh, golden amber as the, the Skilfin was, but still, you know, typical appearance for a West Coast style IPA. If I put my fingers behind the glass, you can see this one is a good little bit hazy, but by no means as hazy as you can get from New England IPAs and stuff like this. So yeah, let's look at the aroma and see how we get on then. Incidentally, 7.7% this beer. So yeah, straight away, nice little bit of maltiness from the beer, good little bit of caramel sweetness in there, a little bit of biscuit as well. You can pick up a little bit of the bready pale malt base, probably some American Turo or something like that in here. There's a few different types of that, Turo pale, Turo caramel, all of these kind of things, but I'm pretty sure there's a bit of Turo in here, which is a malt variety that I really quite enjoy. On the hoppy side of things, um, the green side of the hops for me are leaning towards the floral side of it. Um, nice bit of fruit in here. I'd say, you know, there's a little bit of a sort of um, peachy, apricot notes. This one does have a little bit of a peachy sharpness to it. Um, definitely a little bit of apricot in there as well. And it's quite lemony and citrusy. Maybe it could be Centennial with a lemon drop or something like that. And so yeah, interesting notes coming out of this one. It's like a fruit bowl, this beer. There's a lot of fruity qualities coming out of it. Um, yeah, it definitely, overall, this beer leans towards the juicy fruity side of things, but it does have a decent sort of malty backbone behind it. Um, but yeah, it's a nice smelling beer, this one. As I always say, take a bit of time and enjoy the aroma. Let's get stuck into this one then. The, the uh, delicious IPA at 7.7% from Stone Brewing, once again in California, over in America. Slanted scum, and then. That's pretty damn good, I have to say. I do have to admit, I wish they would just play a little bit of Slayer or something like that. If music's going to be that loud, it has to be heavy metal. Sorry, that's just how it should be. But anyway, um, this beer is really quite nice for me. Once you get into the aftertaste of this beer, that's where it really shines. So in the beginning, you get a nice sort of hoppy bite to this beer. Back corners of the tongue, little touch of earthiness there. As you come further forward along the sides of your palate, just noticing I've got a big curly bit here. 
as you uh, as you go into the aftertaste of this beer, you start to get more of the piney resins coming out. Nice little bit of um, lighter grassy note in here uh, as well. So the green side of the hops for me got a nice floral piney bite to them. I really like the, the bitterness in this beer. This one's pushing sort of 75 IBUs or something like that, I would think. Um, so a nice hoppy bite. On the fruity side of things, it's... Um, yeah, again, to me this one's got a nice bit. It's got a nice bit of that slightly darker passion fruit in there. Um, you, if you go towards that oily bubble on the front of your tongue at the back of that, nice little bit of passion fruit. Coming further forward, you start to get like mangoes, papaya. I'm not getting the peachy sharpness out of this one that I was picking up in the aroma. And to me, this one's a lot darker and more passion fruity and stuff like that. Definitely a strong, a strong lemony quality to this one, which. I suspect might be Centennial. The only other sort of lemony hop I can think of would be like Lemon Drop, but that's a lot less common. I'm not sure exactly what hops would be in this one. If it's Passion Fruit, of course, it could be Galaxy or Simcoe, but I don't think it's either of those in this one. I think it's something else. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a really nice um, IPA, this one. It sweetens up a lot in the aftertaste as well. The further you go into the aftertaste, the more you get of those nice um, sort of tutoroy qualities. You get that nice berry smoothness, but then you get a nice biscuit quality as well. Very centre of your palate, you've got a nice sweet caramel, a little bit of biscuit sweetness as well. And you also have, um, you know, later on, it really does sweeten up later on in the flavour, but it starts to dry out a little bit as well. But that's a really, really nice I think I need to do a few more stone reviews for you on the channel as kind of sit down reviews because I see this brewery very often but and for that reason I don't review too many other beers I need to fix that actually and review a few more stone beers for you something to do in the future actually so um, in terms of the mouthfeel of this one then I describe this beer as being pretty mid-bodied at the top end of mid-bodied though carbonates is very smooth means towards the oily side of things in terms of its mouthfeel good bit of hoppy bitterness I think about 70 yeah, but 70 IBUs in this one. This one does have a good bit of bite, but then it might just be a little bit fresher than the uh, the Sculpin IPA was, right enough. But a nice hoppy bite to it. Malt base is very is smooth, but it also sweetens up later on, like I said, and some nice, quite juicy fruit qualities to be as well. Overall, very nice. I think I'll need to do a proper sit down review of this beer for you a little bit later on. But let's leave it at that. My second and probably final uh, beer tasting for the evening for you. So, so catch you outside and I'll give you my final thoughts, I guess, on the Agora Tap House here in Macau. Alright guys, final thoughts on the Agora Tap House then. So, I had a really nice night here. I tried two very nice American IPAs. Then I was drawn into playing beer pong with some local Macanese people, which was really good fun actually. But um, my experience here overall was very positive. The Filipino people behind the bar were very, very friendly, pointing me in the direction of beers and stuff like that. Generally, you're drinking American, Australian, New Zealand. There's a couple of Scottish beers in there as well. Um, but it's cool to see that generally in Macau they're starting to get more aware of craft beer and hopefully when I come back here next time we'll have some locally brewed um, Macanese craft beer. So we'll see how that goes, but I had a positive experience here, really great people behind the bar, met some locals which was great. So if you get the chance to come to Agora Tap House in Macau, I highly recommend that you do. So let's sing it off from another out and about video there from Rampant Lion Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Until the next time, slang just now and I'll catch you guys there. Slang just go, Gambi. Alright guys, so I ended up playing hey. beer pong with these crazy Macanese guys Ooh, tonight. Macanese. We're going to go and get some beef noodle and enjoy the rest of the night. So I hope you've enjoyed another out and about video from Rampant Lion Reviews. Macau, it's getting more and more aware of craft beer. So hopefully we get some Macanese brewed craft beers in the next little while. But these guys are awesome. We're going to go and enjoy some beef noodles. I hope you've enjoyed this Jim's video. Awesome, Slanju, cheers. Jim's awesome, man. Slanju, cheers. Jim's awesome. Slanju, skill, gombe. Cheers. Yeah.